Now to another breaking story this hour and a pioneering European Space Agency satellite has finally fallen back to Earth. The second Earth remote sensing satellite described as one of the grandfathers of Earth observation has been gradually descending since it stopped operating back in 2011. According to the agency, the satellite re-entered the Earth's atmosphere over the North Pacific Ocean between Alaska and Hawaii. Well, we can speak to Miliko Albani, who works in the ESA's Earth Observation Ground Segment Department. That's quite the title. Uh, welcome to BBC News, Mr Albani. So a successful re-entry for this satellite. How significant is that? Well, this is a welcome and a good evening, everyone. Now, this is a very significant uh, result for us. Because, uh, okay, the, the, the ERS mission is uh, one of the first uh, uh, missions that we have launched at the agency and uh, is uh, uh, basically a trace laser mission. It's the most sophisticated satellite that was uh, ever built and launched by Europe at that time in 1995. And uh, the satellite has provided a wealth of data which uh, uh, have paved the way for the way we look and we observe at observation uh, today. Okay. Uh, today, this re-entry is, is a great success because uh, um, in 2011, the satellite was still functioning very well. Originally, the satellite has to last uh, and had to have a lifetime of three years, whilst now uh, it operated for 16 years. After 16, year of, uh, 16 years of operation, it was still working perfectly, but the agency decided to stop the satellite, stop the operations to mitigate the proliferation of, uh, of space, uh, space debris. Okay. Then the satellite was... Uh, OK, I just wanted to break down what you were saying yep. a little bit. What exactly, then, yep. has the satellite been finding out? What's it been discovering about space? Well, satellite has been discovering many things. It's basically provided us with a wealth of data which has allowed us to understand how our planet works and uh, basically how the, what is the temperature of our oceans and how this temperature is changing, what is the land cover, how the land cover is changing. It has allowed it to monitor the chemistry of our atmosphere, the ice caps, and to see that the ice caps are reducing. So basically, it gave us a new insight on our planet, which are still widely used, uh, used today. And, and uh, one of the concerns, yes. um, uh, Mr. Albani, is about space junk as well. We talked about it a lot on the context, debris that remains in space. So there was a lot riding on this satellite's re-entry because if it had not come back, that could have been an even bigger kind of uh, problem. Yes, exactly. This is a major, a major problem today. As a, the, the orbits where our Earth observation satellites are, are operating are starting to be very crowded because it's plenty of debris over there. So um, that's why in 2011 we decided to orbit the satellite, so to uh, lower the orbit of the satellite, so that it was okay. more difficult for it to, to uh, have to go at fragmentation and have incident with other satellites. Okay. So there are many activities that are ongoing at the agency for, for this. Okay, Mirko Albani, thank you very much for taking us through that story.